Hey guys, welcome to the end of day eight. Um, and also this is going to be, we're going to talk about the end of week one because the end of week one, I, I, I kind of think of it as like the end of like Sunday night. So we're going to talk about the end of day eight, which is the beginning of week two. We're also going to talk about the end of week one here, like I just mentioned and weigh in. So yes, I weighed in this morning. Um, okay. So first of all, today, day eight, let's just start with today. All right. Um, today I, um, let's see. I did have a, a late night snack, like a 2 a.m. snack again, guys. I know it's like the third day in a row. Don't worry. It's not going to be like that every day or every time. Now that I'm back to work, uh, my second job, like, you know, when I have my nights off, like I said, because last night it was like a movie night with me and my son. So it was like uh, 2 a.m. And I just got a few pieces of cheese and, and a piece of bacon. So not horrible. But those are like, they're, they're really a saving grace. That's why I said if you can like pre-cook a package or two of bacon and just keep it in a Tupperware container, man, that helps. Because if you ever get it stuck where you want chips or you want those like popcorn cravings, whatever it is. Um, just go in, get your piece of meat, you know, like a, 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 you know, piece of bacon cold right out of the fridge and snack on it. Hopefully you have it crispy. That way it really goes well while it's um, cold. Um, so I did have that. And then when I was at work today, um, I did stop by, and I ended up getting one of those 100% beef um, uh, sticks, beef sticks. Um, and I think it had like a gram of sugar. So that's probably the, you know, the, the gram. I think maybe one gram, maybe two, maybe. But um, little things like that I'm not going to stress about. It was the best choice out of what they offered, <laughs> you know. Um but I actually, I actually had, you know, I, I felt like I was a little hungry. Maybe um, I was out working and stuff, um, but it was late in the afternoon. I want to say that was more like around four o'clock. So it's not like it was earlier than that. Dinner time. Um, I had my classic two hamburger um, pats with like the, so basically three quarter pound of beef. This time it was 80, 20 ground chuck. Because when I went to the store, I, oh yeah, I, I went, I got a 10 pound, uh, 80, 20 ground chuck for like, uh, 35 bucks. So I don't know what price of uh, price per pound your meat is, but when I bought it in the, in that it was like three fifty a pound. So I was like, oh yeah, because normally it's about five, five and a half bucks a pound. Um, so, but I got that 10 pound chub. I got a 60 pack of eggs, um, like a, like a crate of eggs. Um, and I got some more whipping cream and I got a couple more boxes of butter and things like that, you know, just kind of replenish some of my carnivore stuff. Um, and, um, but my family wanted a hamburger tonight for dinner. So that, that worked out. And so I made, uh, of course mine bunless and all that. They had some buns and pickles and onions and stuff. Um, but I had, you know, I had my, my normal sort of burgers just seasoned with Himalayan salt. And I had, while I was cooking, again, this is what I tell you, what's nice about the bacon is I snacked on one piece of bacon while I was waiting to, oh, I'm sorry. I, I snacked on two pieces of bacon while cooking. That way I, I'm not tempted to like grab something else while I'm cooking. Instead I have, and I just. Take a little bit, a little piece just to satisfy me while I'm cooking. Um, but I made everybody burgers. I made them tater tots uh, along with it. And for my burgers, I also whipped up uh, four over medium eggs because I like the yolks runny. But I can't. I, I'm sorry. I can't do the runny whites. I can't do the snot. So um, I did the over medium. <laughs> And put them over my eggs with two more pieces of bacon. So I had four pieces of bacon total, three quarter ground beef, basically, and four eggs over medium. And and I did a lot of butter. Like with the, the meat, I used a lot of butter. 
um, used butter to cook the eggs in and some of that bacon grease when I made some more bacon tonight. Oh, it's right. I did buy some more bacon. I made another batch to kind of get me through this week. I got some more. I got to cook. I'm going to probably bake up tomorrow just to add. So I'll have a good amount of bacon in the fridge for those little things and a little cravings, whatever. Um, but I, you know, wanted to share the bacon with my family. So, you know, I had, I gave them a couple pieces tonight as well for their burgers. Um, but I got the good bacon, the one I was bragging about last time, the right bacon. Man, it's so good. Um, so yeah, so I used some of the bacon grease to cook the burgers in and stuff like that. You know, like I, I took it out of the oven because I make my bacon in the oven, 400 degrees, roughly. I, I put the timer on, like I'll do 400 degrees preheat. Once it gets to 400 degrees, I'll put my bacon in on parchment paper, like on a big cookie tray. And then once it gets up to like um, the four, 400, I'll put it in and I'll set a timer usually for 18 minutes just to kind of see where we're at. And then from there, a lot of times it, I like mine pretty crispy. So it might be like an extra five to seven minutes, just depends. So that's when I kind of start setting like two or three minute timers um, just to remind myself, hey, check on your bacon. Um, and then just again, when I kind of see it, it's pretty crispy, starting to get nice and crisp on the ends of them at least for sure that's when i'll take it out let it set for a few seconds and then i'll drain off the excess um you know but i'll put it in my tupperware and stuff so anyways um so i think that's everything and oh and i have um i drink an unsweet tea uh again i it's just something i've been doing um only uh, at dinner time. Um, after I get done with this, I'll go back to, to ice water. So I, I was drinking ice water at work. Um, I'll drink ice water later tonight. Uh, but just the unsweet now, I'm, I finished dinner like, again, like about an hour ago, guys, you know. Um, uh, let's see. Weigh in. I know maybe you guys are wondering about weigh in. So um, I told you guys I, st I started my journey last week at 315 pounds. And I am at 304. <laughs> so, yay. I lost 11 pounds, um, which was nice because my son, you know, he's like pulling for me. You know, he's 16 and he's, you know, he's just been like, you know, come on, dad. And like, he, he's really been supportive. And today I, I let him carry in that 10 pound chub. I said, hey, you feel how heavy that is? And um, I mean, he works out. So, but you know what I mean? But I'm like, hey, you feel that? And he's like, yeah. And I said, well, I lost 11 pounds. I said, that's 10 pounds. I said, I lost 11 pounds today. And uh, he was like, yeah, let's go. So, and, and of course, there's always going to be the people out there like, oh, it's week one. It's a lot of water weight. I don't care. Like, I don't care what it is. It's the, the point is it's, it's, it's weight loss, not gain. I don't know why I'm pointing like that's the gain direction. And that's the lost direction. I don't know. But <laughs> instead of going this way, it's now going this way. Uh, it's going in reverse. And that's, I'm glad. But more importantly, because I didn't know what to expect. To be honest with you, all week, I didn't feel thinner, actually. I just felt full. A lot of times I felt full. I'm like, okay. And I, I didn't have like massive potty breaks. So I'm like, am I getting rid of stuff? I mean, what's going on? I mean, I, I, I didn't, obviously I shared my potty stuff with you guys, but, but not as, as much as I thought, I guess. And like, it was surprising. It was surprising. So, um, I'm curious to see how each week goes. Um, but yeah, I, I, um, I'm, I was really happy. I am. And, and I just, I, I was at that point where, I didn't expect that I was like, I was kind of telling myself before I got on the scale, I was like, look, don't stress about it. It's going to be what it is. The point is that you feel better. And I had to believe in the process that it's not about the number on the scale right now. It's about the overall health and how you feel and stuff. So, and all through the week, I felt overall just a better person. I felt solid. I didn't feel bloated. I didn't have those extra aches and pains and that grogginess from the sugars and things like that. So, um, so yeah, I mean, and I've, and I fought off a whole week worth of temptation. Um, so 
I'm proud of myself in that fact. So, uh, you know, I'm I'm curious to see how this week's going to go. Obviously, I, I I'm finishing up the first day of the second week, so I'm excited. So I thought I'd let you guys know and share with you. Um, let's see anything else about today. Oh, one thing I wanted to point out is like I don't know about you guys, but like I noticed these last few days toward after being away from spices because I'm a like look, I'm a hot sauce guy. All right. I like my hot sauce. I like Tabasco. I like the Red Hot. I like Texas Pete. I like all of it. Right. Um, and, and many other brands um, and homemade, you know, um, I didn't have I, I, I don't, I don't want to say I had hot sauce on everything. I didn't. But a while back, um, I had built up my my heat tolerance. I, I was doing those Pocky chip challenges. I'm talking about the the latest ones where it was like 2 million plus Scoville. <laughs> and I was doing those. I mean, that's how much I was. I mean, it was still super hot. It's not like I was like, oh, yeah, that's nothing. No, I mean, it was freaking hot. But um, but but like I said, I had light a lot of houses. Well, then I had got COVID, which you know, I was home. I don't like to even say the word because I don't even know if I'm going to be taken down now all of a sudden. You know, anyways. But when I got the cooth, um, it 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 wiped out my my taste buds, and I had to use a lot of vitamin A for a month to recoup my taste buds. But it reset everything. And it was like even table pepper would like be kind of hot for me. I'd be like, "What the hell's this?" Like I'm having pepper on my eggs, and and like it's you know stinging a little bit. Um, so it kind of reset everything in that sense. And since then I had built it back up to where I could eat, you know, some chipotle peppers and jalapenos and, you know, just, I didn't really get back up to like a lot of ghost pepper stuff or anything like that, or Reaper or, you know, all that crap. This stuff was still too hot for me, but I was more about taste. Anyways, where am I going with all this? Um, I just, I wanted to say that I have resisted hot sauces and things like that for now. Um, I know some people, when it comes to condiments, it's a really weird thing with carnivores. Um, but these first 90 days, I'm trying to stay away from a lot of those other things because I've already let myself have some cheese and cream uh, in this first 90 days. Uh, I'm going to probably stay away from a lot more spices. Like I said, I've, I've only been doing salt. Well, anyways, with that being said, I don't know about you guys, but these last few days... Um, when I'm seasoning my family's food and there's like pepper in it and stuff like that, it's, it's, I'm like end up having to sneeze. <laughs> like it's like, I'll, I'll smell it. And I'll be like, Whoa. And I'll like, and I'll, I'll have that reaction now. So I don't know. I mean, maybe I'll never go back to those uh, pepper spices or anything. I, I don't know, but, um, but I know there's things in the hot sauce maybe that just, again, we shouldn't really be taking it anyways. I don't really hear a lot of people talk about hot sauce too much. Some, like I said, some of them I do, but I don't know. We'll see because I used to be more than just a hot sauce guy. I was a sugar addict and all this other stuff. I mean, today when I served them some more of that chocolate pie I made, it looks so good. But I had to tell myself. It's just very tasty poison, and you don't need that poison. Uh, I feel guilty serving my family, but it's their their choice. They want to still continue on that path. Um, but maybe they'll come around. Maybe maybe once I set more of that example in a, maybe a month or two, who knows? Maybe my wife, or you know, maybe she'll say, man, you know, you've really lost some weight or, you know, you really seem to your skin or whatever. I mean, maybe it'll be noticeable in those next few months to where she might say, you know what, maybe, I, maybe there is something to this. Maybe I need to give it a try. Um, so, um, but in any case, guys, I'm going to try to keep this again, fairly short. I just wanted to get in here, tell you guys the way in news, um, tell you about what I ate today. Uh, I think I covered everything. I think the snack in the middle of the night, and then, of course, the beef steak earlier, and then, of course, the dinner, which was fairly standard. I've, I've been, oh, and by the way, the reason why I've been getting so much ground beef, because, again, 
it's it's money okay i am gonna incorporate some steaks i'm looking into making some bone broth um, i wanted to start incorporating that and i i was gonna buy a package of beef liver and i'm gonna probably start incorporating um a little bit of beef liver i've seen a lot of people talk about um put in the fridge or or getting it almost frozen and then like cutting it up into little little teeny bits and then put incorporating it into your ground beef um so it's an easier way i guess to, to ingest the liver i guess it you know it's an acquired taste maybe i don't know but either way i i, I do know i'm going to start trying to incorporate some liver um and i will incorporate some more steaks trust me it's just I know that for me, like I was telling you guys, it's like because I am eating sort of separate from my family in a way, I don't want to eat a steak while they're eating like spaghetti or something. I mean, because for them, that's going to be like, why, why do you get a steak? So I don't want to be mean like that. You know, if we're going to have steak, maybe I'll get them a steak too. Um, but again, it's just money, you know, like to be able to eat steaks a lot um and, and i'll probably do cheaper cuts maybe even top sirloin or things like that i don't know i mean if you guys have any recommendations because ribeye and stuff like that t-bone ribeye you know new york strip i mean right now they're so expensive and i, I try to like look and even the smaller w smaller sizes are you know still pretty expensive so for me it's been easier for me to do at least the ground beef and i know that people have said look if eating ground beef if that's all you can do um do that you know until you can do better or if you can get some every once in a while uh, because it's better than still eating a crappy lifestyle you know but if you guys have suggestions on maybe some other cheaper uh, cuts of meat um I do look. Somebody was talking about those uh, flank ribs or something like that, but I haven't been able to see them. I haven't seen them in the stores. Like the the couple, I went to Walmart. I went to um, Food City here, and uh, which is like a, another local chain of grocery stores. If anybody ever heard of like like the Bristol Motor Speedway and NASCAR, it's always you know the Food City Five Hundred or whatever. The Food City is like the major, you know, a, a major chain in that area. Um, so uh so in any case but if you guys have any suggestions on some lower uh cuts of meat that may be also still pretty healthy with some fats in there that aren't so grisly you know or something hey but top sirloin i mean it's usually been about 7.99 to get like you know or, or a pound so to get a decent sized steak i can pretty much feed all three of us for about 24 to, to 28 bucks uh for for the steak itself so that's not too bad um still a lot of money but um but in any case i'd like to do that every once in a while obviously but anyways i got the big 10 pound chub so i'm pretty happy about that and all the eggs so but anyways guys enough rambling on hey we'll see you day nine tomorrow i'm excited and i hope you guys are doing um good out there too you guys' comments and support always has been so helpful so far. Thank you guys so, so much. Seriously.